I felt the strength coming through in that statement we've been waiting for for a long time. Uh, not only should the wealthiest Americans who are on the deck of the ship pay their fair share, but the unnecessary war costs and corporations, we've got CEOs making more money in salary than their corporations are paying in taxes, plus they're getting a refund. Uh, we Do you support these protests on Wall Street that have been taking place over the last few days? Absolutely, because in a real sense, we bail out the banks without link to lending or to reinvestment. We would not put the glass teeth back on. So they have a choice between investing and lending. They choose foolish investing or risk investing over over lending. I I must say that when we are in December, the Bush tax cut extension amounts to more money than all the state budget deficits combined. So it seems the president is about to draw a line in the sand that's good for all of America. Yet Obama's plan calls for cuts to Medicare and Medicaid. Well, to me, that is the risky part of it, because I'm not sure that that is necessary, uh, because some Americans are doing better than they have ever done before. Uh, and while unemployment is rising, the safety net for the poorest Americans, uh, Medicaid, public hospitals have been overrun. Medicare seniors are very threatened. And I would think before we end up with that conclusion, we must go after where the money, where is the money? Uh, the money is in, is in the four wars. The money is in corporations not paying their share of taxes. The money is in the banks. Those who have the most must share the most. What do you think of Ralph Nader's call for an opponent to President Obama and the Democratic Party? Well, I hope that we would not do that. We've been down this road before. We went down this road, and in some sense, that's how Gore uh, lost his campaign uh, to Bush. Uh, It was a protest that got unintended consequences. I would hope that we would not give up on President Barack Obama.